here's where we were just, just a couple days ago on December 31st, 2018. This was humanity's best image of Ultima Thule, made by New Horizons at a range of about half a million kilometers out. Well, that image is so 2018. <laughs> Meet Ultima Thule. Just like with Pluto, we could not be happier. What you're seeing is the first contact binary ever explored by spacecraft. It's two completely separate objects uh, that are now joined together, and you're going to hear a lot more about that from Jeff Moore in just a little bit. But let me say, <laughs> that bowling pin is gone. <laughs> it's a snowman, if it's anything at all. And you know, we have to start thinking about some provisional names. And particularly, we need names right up front for the two lobes so that we can refer to them individually. Now, being scientists, we're not all that creative with words, so what we've decided to do is name one lobe Ultima and the other Thule. <laughs> the big one is obviously Ultima. It's pretty easy to remember. Hi, I'm excited today to introduce you to the color of Ultima Thule. So on the left-hand side, you're seeing an enhanced color image. So this is the near IR, the red and the blue, taken by the Ralph instrument, the MVIC, um, part of the Ralph instrument. In the middle, you're seeing the lorry image that we've already discussed. And on the right-hand side is the color image overlaid onto that lorry. We had a rough color from Hobart, but now we can definitively say the Ultima Thule is red. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> This color is consistent with other uh, objects in its class of a cold classical Kuiper belt object. Both lobes, Ultima and Thule, have similar colors, uh, but the neck region, as Kathy has already described, is not only brighter, but it also is notably less red. We have other data sets which will be downloaded over the course of the next um, few, well, two years, and those are gonna tell us a little bit more about the smaller scale variations of Ultima Thule. Okay, so with the images we have in hand, uh, this image is a, about a native resolution of around uh, 150 yards per pixel. Um, you can see that you have a modeled appearance of the overall uh, uh, landscape of Ultima and Thule. The uh, yellow arrows point to uh, brighter features, which are often uh, circular dot-like as opposed to being uh, elongate, and that's in contrast to the darker regions, which the red arrows point to, which often seem to, um, to form uh, elongate patches or streaks or however you want to think about them. Um, there is this remarkable uh, neck feature has just been discussed. Uh, Carly and others have mentioned how uh, it uh, is less red in, it, in these uh, grayscale images. It appears to be um, a higher albedo. Um, and that could be due to two processes. The, the higher albedo could be due to the fact that uh, material has, has collected down there small particles and smaller particle material is often brighter just by it, the nature of being small. Or alternatively, alternatively it could be the consequence of uh, different compositions, but we'll be able to have answers to those questions very soon. <laughs> 